Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective pick a card for who is doing a love spell on you. Today we have three piles. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. So go ahead and take a deep breath. Choose from the heart. Choose the pile you're drawn to the most. Pause the video if you need more time. And we're going to go ahead and get started with pile one. So let me move these out of the way for now. And let's see. Pile one, who is doing a love spell on you? What do you need to know? So I'm just going to start flipping the cards out, see what we get here, and we're going to go from there. So you have Hearth Homecoming. It looks like someone is brewing up a spell, wanting to do, um, I'm hearing like your, first, first I heard like Witch's Brew, and I'm sorry, I know the audio is kind of off, so I'm going to try and speak loudly. Hopefully it gets better, um, but hopefully it gets better okay i didn't mean it that way i just meant the video i hope the audio sounds better someone wants to manifest you to come back with rebirth here you could be aunt yule you could be a i'm seeing the empress card with rebirth so taurus libra i'm also seeing something could have happened in the winter time and this person is trying to manifest you back into their life this is someone that you've been with and they want you back with a nine or ten of wands excuse me this person is heavily burdened. Someone is feeling guilty. I'm getting a lot of regrets here for the way that they treated you. They could have hurt you. They could have lied to you here with the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Fire Signs with Wands as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person has some regrets here. You're standing your guard. You're not speaking to this person. I said with the Rebirth card, I thought of the Empress, Libra, Taurus, and this is Libra energy here. With the Queen of Swords, you are defending yourself from someone who hurt you and burdened you. You're not speaking to this person because they're a liar. With Ace of Wands, so this person is trying to do some type of alchemy. They're very much sexually attracted to you. They can't get you off of their mind. Um, I have that song by Ariana Grande. The one that says, break up with your girlfriend because I'm bored. So it's like, if you're in a relationship, they want you to break up. Or vice versa. I'm hearing something about the girlfriend. So if you have a girlfriend, get rid of your girlfriend. Or that's not your girlfriend, that's my girlfriend. It's like that type of vibe, two, two, two. This person is causing an imbalance in your relationships. They don't want you to be happy with anybody because they want you back. You could be dealing with a Gemini here. I mean, you don't have to be. I'm also hearing green, like um, Al Green or is it John Green? The one that writes those books, I can't remember, or those movies. But um, something about green, G-R-E-E-N-E, -E -E, that might be somebody's last name. With the Queen of Wands here. And the Eight, okay. So, I feel like somebody is in a relationship already, but they're still thinking of you. If they're with someone else, this woman could be doing... Um, this woman is aware that this man is doing magic to bring you back. Someone's in a relationship with a karmic. They want you back. You don't want them anymore. They chose wrong, but this person can't stop thinking about you. If they have a new girlfriend... They want to break up with their girlfriend because they're not happy in the relationship. They could be manifesting you literally through spell work or they could just be doing a lot of law of attraction, manifestation, daydreaming about you, looking at your pictures on social media here. Their girlfriend knows about it, but you're not even interested is what I'm getting. You have your guard up, 333. This person could even be sending you the evil eye without realizing it. Yeah, with the magician Gemini because he can't stop thinking about you. It's become a toxic type of energy with the strength card view energy and the knight of pentacles this person took a long time to realize that there is actually a strong solid foundation in this connection but this person wants to come back but they don't know what to say to you because they screwed up yeah with the ten of swords they took too long and this relationship is over whether it's an air sign an earth sign for stability whoever the sign is they feel bad you're not with them anymore and they want you back 404 guy with the nine of swords this person is tormented I'm also getting if you can't sleep at night sometimes is because this person is thinking of you a lot. They're disrupting your energetic space is what I'm hearing. So you need to do a lot of like chakra balancing in the morning, meditations. I'm also getting um, hematite or a grounding stone to help bring you back down to your present energy and to, you need a clear energy for sure. This person has some type of like, this person can't eat or sleep. They can't do anything without you. And there's Gemini again, so I feel like they could be an air sign for sure. With new love, this person is stressed out with the fact that you're going to have a new person in your life or they're aware of this and they don't want you to leave them or if you're not in a relationship, they don't want you to move on without them. They don't want you to have new love. This person is thinking of wanting to 
these are two different energies. I feel like this is your past energy, the way I'm reading it intuitively. This person is wanting to pull you back, especially with the way his hand is on her waist. I feel like this person wants to take you away, but you are not theirs anymore because you are over here. You have new love. You have your angels and guides guiding you away from this person. This person could have been very controlling. Maybe they grabbed you or they're very forceful. I'm seeing someone have like red marks on their arms. If you are being hurt physically by anyone, definitely leave that situation. That is not safe for you is what I'm getting. Some of you may have had encounters with the cops. They stole, I'm hearing stolen property. Whoever this past person is, they're doing a spell because they want you back. Or they're manifesting you somehow, some way. So with the Oracle of Time here, additional information, who this could be, initials, time frame, what have you. This is available in my Etsy shop. Um, links in the bio. So one month. This could be going on for a month or in one month something significant could happen. One month. There's something about one month that's significant for you. Initials of this person could be a G or an O. Take what resonates. This could be you or them. This also spells go. So maybe go away from this person or this person's going to come towards you. And then you have B and C. This when I so I'm seeing like go before Christ is what I'm getting. And then you have Sunday and then you have separation. So I feel like this person needs to apologize. I'm seeing someone like, conf I'm hearing Confessions Usher. That song by Usher. These are my confessions. Just when I thought, where does it go? She's got one on the way. Someone got somebody pregnant is what I'm getting. For some, not all. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So you guys, this is an ex for sure. You're not with this person. There's a breakup. There's no communication, situationship, what have you. You're not talking to this person. They want you back. Sundays could be significant. Maybe you guys went to the beach together. I'm hearing mojitos. I don't know why. Maybe you went to have drinks with this person or you met them at a bar. Um, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. This, per this person wants stability with you. They miss you. They're not happy with who they are. This could have happened a month ago or you've been single for a month. No one understands me like you or they're coming back. In a month, I'm hearing they think they feel you're very angelic because I got the go before Christ. So it's like I'm coming back and then BC is before is what I'm getting. So they want to come back. They want to turn back time. They want a second chance. Um, they're starting to realize that they chose wrong. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Not all that glitters is gold. And they have some heavy regrets and they want to come back into your life. They are going to come back. Expect communication from them maybe in a month or less. Or it's been a month since they have reached out. And they're coming back because they want you back. That's who's doing a love spell. You have an ex. That's what I have for you, pile one. I send you many blessings. Thank you for liking and subscribing. We're going to get into pile number two. Okay, pile two. This is your reading. If you chose pile two, who is doing a love spell on you? You have a foundation homeland. This is someone that sees stability with you. They have a whole future ahead. They're really manifesting you with fertility. This person wants a life with you. You have a lot of cords of attachment here. And with ancestors and remembrance, I feel like... This is a past life for someone that you have a strong soul tied to. And with the ancestors, it's like you could have had a past life and you're reincarnated in this lifetime to be into union with this person. Some of you guys have a lot of like meaning like mummification, so Egyptian ancestors. But I'm also seeing um, your ancestors are helping you guys remember and reconnect with this person. With the Book of Shadows and Secret, you guys some have some information with regards to your past life or Akashic Records. You need to learn more about who this person is in your life because there's some significance there. This person is doing a spell and manifesting you, writing a petition. They could see crows or ravens or you do. There's something about blackbirds. With the two of wands, this person could be at a crossroads. I'm also saying they could be your twin flame. With the devil, yeah, this is a karmic situation and they are facing their karma. So I feel like whoever's doing a spell on you could have been someone who got a little bit obsessed with you or had some bad habits. They spy on you a lot. This was a potential union here with the two of cups i feel like this is your soulmate stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance i feel like this person is living offerings to their spiritual team they're manifesting you they feel like you're worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your life they are manifesting you this is your divine counterpart soulmate twin flame take what resonates they're manifesting you 9 11 archangel michael's protecting this union so who is um this person initials timing anything we can get here W. Williams. I heard Wesley. Wyatt Wren. W is significant. This could be first, last name. First name, last name, middle initial. Um, and th these are available, by the way, in my Etsy shop. But W is significant. In January, this person can be an Aquarius. Or the month of January is significant. Then you have Girl with a Snake. Empath and Narcissist Paradigm. Being charmed or used. Naval Boundaries. So I feel like you guys could be in a twin flame dynamic where it's an unhealthy relationship. Maybe you guys are like at each other's throats. Not literally, but it's like 
Uh, it's like a love-hate relationship, right? With the two of wands, it's like you're at a crossroads. I'm hearing it's a thin line between love and hate. But I'm also um, telling you that song Pile 2, Bang Bang by um, Jesse J, Ariana Grande, and Nicki Minaj. Um, the part where it says, she's got a body like an hourglass, but I can give it to you all the time. I also heard threesome, ill yuck, and he's crazy. So you could have been dealing with a narcissist literally who thought that you're their soulmate and they're actually a karmic or you're a karmic. And this person is confused between you and another person. Um, January and W are very significant for you guys. And with the hand of cards, someone is playing their cards or taking a risk. Um, they do have options for sure. Gambling. So this person could have juggled you with somebody else and they're doing a love soul because they feel like you're their soulmate. Yeah, soulmate connection. <clears throat> Maybe you are a soulmate and you do have a soul contract, but this person put you in a third party situation and they're trying to stay optimistic and hoping that you'll come back. Like even looking at these cards again, it's like the two of cups is here. This is definitely a soul flame, a soul flame. There's like some type of energy here. It's like you guys have a telepathic communication when this guy or girl, whoever this is, is thinking about you you think of them because there's like with judgment it's like this person was has a contract they're supposed to be with you and this relationship was supposed to be resurrected this person has some toxic energy with capricorn and they were supposed to heal the connection in this lifetime but they didn't but they're still trying to manifest you it's like this person might want to have their cake and eat it too with you which i think is gross yeah i know i hurt you i'm sorry with the extra cards and i can't stop thinking about you that's that telepathic communication that I was getting and social media stalking spying which makes sense with the page of swords it's like this person is spying on spying on you on social media mutual friends pick a cards whatever this person is trying to find out information about you they could even meditate about you with the stars you guys do have a past life here star seeds I'm hearing the ancients I want to have your babies this person wants to get you pregnant or you want to get pregnant by them or this was the energy that you guys were in they really love your scent of your smell your perfume whatever they're really into you with karma i feel like this was definitely a karmic situation especially because we have the devil card here which i don't remember where it went it's in here somewhere i want to get that devil card out i want to show it to you guys again i don't know why i'm being guided to show you that card so here karma is coming for you this person could have made you feel trapped because it was a twin flame dynamic it turned toxic 1221 but with judgment here i feel like this person is going to get their karma for the way that they treated you it's like the rules are reversed if you felt trapped now you're going to be set free and this person who was toxic is going to be feeling trapped in a karmic situation they're going to be getting karma somehow some way and they're going to watch you be happy with somebody else i feel like this person was your person they were supposed to be with you but it turned into a karmic situation because instead of choosing to heal the connection this person put themselves first they chose negative behaviors negative patterns dealing with too many people they could have juggled you this is an unhealthy relationship this is a karmic relationship and this person thinks or thought that you were their person but because you have the narcissist empath paradigm i feel like this person was supposed to want to heal but it's not going to happen with the girl with the snake here this person was just using you they were watching you they were trying to take from you you had a lot of love and light here also getting they were trying to stop you from your true love Someone who's a karmic is trying to stop you from your true love because they don't want you to be happy. They want you to choose them. Especially here. I know I hurt you. I'm sorry. So it's like they want to make it right. They want a second chance. But I don't feel like it's going to happen because you know that this is not good and you are letting go. And you do have a new lover coming in. A new person who is your soulmate. And this person who hurt you is just going to have to watch from the side. It's like they want to keep you on the side and they want to have you. And that's not fair. They could have had you in a third party situation, especially with that song, Bang Bang. It's like literally like, you know, you have a body like an hourglass, but I can give it to you all the time. She's got a body like an hourglass is what the song says. So it's like there's somebody else here that looks good with them, but they're really attracted to you and maybe you're not their type. So it's like they want you on the side, but they keep up appearances with another relationship because that's what society expects or their family likes the other person and maybe being with you would be too hard because there's some type of difference maybe you guys are different races or one's older or you just don't look like a i don't know maybe their view of a perfect body is like six feet victoria's secret model and you look bootylicious i don't know you guys but there's something here that's different and this person is choosing to pick the person that 
looks better in their eyes or in everybody else's eyes versus you who is actually their really true love but it's like they screwed up so much that this is not healthy for some of you this could actually be a narcissist who doesn't know what they want and it's not healthy and it's not safe so that's what i have for you pile two let me know if that resonates there's a lot of messages here this energy is pretty topsy-turvy so some messages will resonate the others will not it's because it's just it's a lot of energy here pile two so that's what i have for you thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel we're going to get into pile number three Okay, pal three, who's doing a love spot on you? Your first card is Witch's Hat, Power. So someone is doing a strong manifestation. I also have the song from Ariana Grande, God is a Woman. You love it how I move you after midnight or late night calls. It lingers when we're done. Yo, believe God is a woman. Energy vampire is what I'm also channeling here. With Autumn, this could be happening now. Watchtower of the West and Watchtower of the North. You could be a very abundant, strong manifester. This person is leaving you out in the cold or doesn't want to be left out in the cold. They're doing magic here. They're trying to get you back is what I'm getting. They could be using herbal magic is what I'm also seeing. Adrenaline rush. I feel like this person feels like I'm getting that sign or that line from Twilight where it's like, um, you're like a drug to me. That's what I'm hearing. This person is an energy vampire. They're getting readings about you. They feel like there's a past life connection here and they write, this person could be a poem, a poem. <laughs> they could be writing poems. They could be an artist is what I'm getting or a poet is what I heard. With the three of cups, this could be a friends with benefits. The truth is being revealed. The tower card, something is going to happen unexpectedly. The fool card, it's like they're going to come back. They want a new beginning. They see you as beautiful, sexy, and abundant. With the four of cups, this person cannot stop thinking about you. This person could be May. Taurus energy with the king of cups. This person has a lot of love for you. They want to come back into your life. They want to reconnect. They're manifesting you. They want to manifest healing. This person is powerful and has a lot of love. And so are you, is what I'm getting. You guys are equally um, strong spiritual empaths. You guys are both spiritual somehow, some way. Someone from your past is returning. I heard someone from your past life. And then it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. One of you guys is very closed off. And that's why there's a little bit of stagnant energy here. And this person is trying to get you back in their life. Oracle of time messages available on my Etsy shop. You have you why i'm hearing you know why today okay so today or within 24 hours is what i'm hearing friday april april is aries if i'm not mistaken and july is cancer so emotions are running high and december is sagittarius if i'm not mistaken and the answer is yes so whatever you're thinking of who this person is the answer is yes you also have thursday and then you have j i'm also hearing eight days a week by the beatles so this person thinks about you a lot so I'm also seeing here, like, trust your heart is what I'm hearing. And with cassette, replaying events over in your head. This person thinks about you a lot. Everything reminds them of you with coffin. This person doesn't want to let you go. They don't want it to end. They don't want it to be over. I'm getting that really strongly here. This person doesn't want it to be over because you give them some type of power is what I'm hearing. It's a higher power, higher calling that you have. April, I don't know why, maybe your name is April. Um, or you knew this person in April. This could be a friend with benefits that doesn't want to let you go because they like your energy. It fuels them. They like the feeling you give them, but they don't want anything stable. It's like this person could just be playing games with you. I'm hearing that song, quit playing games with my heart, with my heart. They write a lot about you. I'm also getting they could smoke weed with the alchemist. But they're trying to do a love spell because they're like an energy vampire, but they don't know that. I don't feel this person is intentionally trying to drain you. Pile one was pretty creepy, but pile three, I don't see that here. It's like this person misses you and they don't know why. It's because you're a light worker, you're a healer. Your energy is very powerful because you are a witch is what I'm seeing with this and i just saw a so a could be significant um you're strong you're gifted you could be an alchemist you could literally heal this person's pain and that's why they want you back maybe you're not talking to this person because they're a friend with benefits and you're like i'm not giving my energy to people who aren't gonna be serious like i am a divine feminine i am in this witchy powerful goddess energy guy girl and i'm not giving my energy to anyone just for fun and this person is noticing that you're pulling back your energy so now they're trying to manifest you and they're trying to do a love spell whether that's through visualization, constantly thinking about you, or writing about you all the time in music, poems, or letters that they write.